If you're just starting or wanting to start an IT, you're probably wondering, what are my first 90 days gonna look like? In this video, I'm gonna discuss exactly this, everything I felt, did, and learned in my first 90 days, as well as some anecdotes of my success stories and my pain points. And this video is gonna include all of my personal experiences. Please note, your mileage may vary. I work at an MSP, which is a managed service provider. It's a notoriously high-paced environment. We give IT services to other companies and everything is go, go, go. We also work in a heavily regulated industry. I should say everything has to be done up to a certain standard. And I'm also gonna include all of the technical stuff that I was doing in these first 90 days as well, because I feel like that's what I would have wanted to hear before I got into IT. Let's get into it. So day one and week one was honestly just a ton of orientation and onboarding stuff. We had to do a ton of trainings and a lot of these trainings weren't really like technical stuff. I was eager to get into the technical stuff, but a lot of this was what opportunities are there at the company? How do all the teams work together? Uh, what certifications can you get to be able to move up? Learning some processes and procedures and tools that we have at our disposal. It was truly a week of death by PowerPoint. And before I went in, I was super nervous because I had never worked a technical job like this. But once we started all of those trainings that I just said, all of that nervousness kind of just turned into excitement and I was really happy to be where I was and felt like I was in the right place for myself. And they also gave us probably two to three hours a day for this first week to just study whatever we were studying, work on whatever we were working on and kind of just chill with the people in our office. It was a very chill environment. I was uh, surprised and happy. All in all, my first impressions were just that everybody was super nice and laid back. I don't know what I was really expecting going in, but everybody was just super not serious about everything. I will say these first few weeks I was working in office as well. Now I work remote. When I first started, when I was doing this training, I was in office and everybody was there with me on my first day. The mood was light. People were playing Nintendo Switch in the lunchroom and everything was just remarkably chill. Again, as I said, everybody was there that first day and after this, everybody just went home. But it was still nice to meet everyone and kind of get to know everyone, see how chill everything is, and I was happy to be here. So after this, I had around two to three weeks of kind of hard technical training. We learned a ton of stuff in this first two to three weeks. And by the end of it, we were able to start taking tickets off of the board. Our trainer was kind of like hand picking them for us uh, because they were the easier T1 tickets. And it was really nice to get into it and to learn technical stuff and kind of see the things that I had learned in certs be validated. Here I started learning the basics of Active Directory, password resets, account unlocks. We were looking at onboarding users, kind of what Microsoft licensing is, how Outlook works, like OST and PST files, Outlook profiles, you know, the old Outlook client versus the new Outlook client. We also were doing some exchange online management. So, you know, setting up distribution lists, shared mailboxes, 365 groups what the difference between that stuff is and explaining that to clients as well. A distribution list is gonna send, it's gonna be an email that when you email it to it, it sends a copy of that email to the personal inbox of everyone and they can respond to it personally. A shared mailbox is gonna be just that. It's a mailbox that everybody mounts but they can send and receive as that email. And a 365 group is gonna have a shared mailbox, but it's also gonna have a calendar and things like that. Aside from the Microsoft side of things, we started learning some printer troubleshooting as well. The difference between USB and network printers, some driver stuff, and really just which question to ask when you get a printer ticket. I was learning about printer mapping, jams, toner replacement, stopping and starting the spooler all of this important printer troubleshooting stuff, I was still a little printer baby. I started learning about our remote monitoring and management tools, kind of how to uninstall them, reinstall them, verify that things are working, you know, looking in certain folders, checking services. This is a big part about working in MSP too, is just making sure that your RMM tools are up to date and good to go. And here I was just getting taught a ton of stuff by internal people, shout out to my guy, Evan. He uh, took some meetings with me and taught me tons of stuff and I was super grateful to him for that. In these first few weeks, first month, I'm learning about random software stuff too, you know, 365 apps, Adobe, some bank specific software because we work with banks and financial institutions. And to put into perspective how much of a noob I was when I first had to reinstall Adobe, for lack of a better word, I was, I was just really scared. Uh, I didn't want to lose any of this person's data. I thought, oh, am I going to delete their files on accident? Am I going to break something really bad? Looking back, I see how not dangerous that act really was, but my first Adobe reinstall was something that was really big for me. I was having people do some simple hardware swaps, you know, keyboard, mouse, stuff like that. Also something that was super common is just the MFA setup process, um, re-registering people for MFA, having them go to portal.office.com and set up their Microsoft Authenticator app on their phone. In this phase, I am constantly Googling things and asking people questions. Some common mistakes that I was making in that time was just like overthinking simple tickets. I was escalating tickets probably without enough 
enough data because I didn't even understand which data I needed. And then also a common thing that you're going to go through is I was not knowing which questions to ask and having to call back the user a million times just to get this right next chunk of information so I can keep the ticket moving forward. As you get better at IT, you just start to know which questions to ask. And I had some early successes as well. Again, learning those RMM tools and being able to verify that and prove to customers that I was competent with that felt really good. I started learning some run DLL tricks for mounting network printers. I really started to feel like I was a little bit good with printers because I was taking a ton of printer tickets. I really struggled with our ticketing system, gathering data, using tools, and knowing what data to gather. And then again, I would freeze up and tell a user like, hey, can I look into that and shoot you a call back for the easiest things in the world where I would just have to go on Google, find out which question I had to ask, and then call them back and ask the user. But again, all of this is normal. So now we're around to month two. Month two, 30 to 60 days. In my month two, I'm getting way faster with tickets. I'm handling recurring and common issues without really having to ask anyone for help. I'm also learning where our documentation lives. I'm starting to write some of my own documentation. I'm definitely still an IT baby, but I'm starting to feel a little bit more confident. I'm handling email delivery issues, like looking at things like phishing tickets, mail flow, mail rules, using message trace. I'm doing some Wi-Fi and network tickets a little bit, you know, learning about client side DNS and how a computer actually interacts with the internet. I'm messing with some IP IPv4 properties using the ncpa.cpl command. And I'm starting to understand permissions a little bit better using security groups to grant people permissions to certain things and a little bit of GPO, although I'm relying really heavily on my tier two buddies here to help me with the GPO side of things. In this time, I was traveling and got locked out of my own device, didn't understand how to get myself back in, spent a day and a half getting myself back into my own device, working with internal teams. I also got the opportunity to help a T2 buddy on an SMTP ticket with a vendor that was way over my head, way too complex, but it was really fun because I learned a ton of things. And during this time, I have a T3 buddy that I was helping as well when one of his servers went down and he had to migrate a bunch of DHCP reservations. I was really just doing busy work for these people, but it was fun because I felt like I could help them out a little bit and I was stretching myself thin being able to learn this next level stuff. Again, during this time, my confidence is starting to build. So on to month three, I'm definitely taking on more complex issues, like the top of tier one complexity. I'm doing permission stuff. I'm doing internet networking troubleshooting. I'm taking VPN tickets and getting really good at VPN stuff. And I'm starting to see patterns across departments and I'm really starting to follow our standards better, building out good documentation. I'm definitely building some great relationships with my coworkers and with internal contacts. I had the opportunity to train a couple of rounds of classes during this time, classes after me that had come in. That helped me grow a lot as a person and understand where my weak areas were in tech. I started learning about conditional access, organizational structure and Active Directory, how Microsoft permissions work and everything works together. I'm learning about GPOs and kind of how they apply and how I can test these GPOs. And I'm getting really good at gathering data. So when I do send a ticket up to T2, it's like, hey, T2, I need this, please do it. At this point, I'm realizing I actually know stuff. I'm also finishing up my CCNA cert, which is a networking cert. And I'm starting to get more confident with stuff like that. And I just feel like I'm ready to promote. This was really a time of insane repetition for me. Like again, I'm not mean to brag, but I'm just getting really good at tickets. I'm taking a ton of tickets. And in terms of our metric, we use billable hours. I think in this third month, I build 143 hours, which put me up at the top of tier one. So I'm just closing any easy ticket at a super fast clip. And I'm just always on to the next thing, working really hard, studying my butt off, getting ready and telling everybody that I wanted to get promoted as quickly as possible. So here are some lessons that I learned through these first three months. Firstly, put plenty of info into emails and tickets as you're gonna save everyone time and people are gonna like you more. Ask questions, but only when you have expanded all of your resources. T2s love to see that you done a ton of work before you reach out to them. Don't ask easily Googleable questions. It's the number one way to get people to not like you very much. It sounds bad, but just make sure that you've exhausted Google and ChatGPT before you reach out to someone. Document what you do learn. I built out this really complex OneNote where I had all of these different things. I referred to it a few times and now at this point in my career, I have it all built out and I rarely ever use it because after you document everything, you kind of just tend to remember it as well. Like maybe you have to reference it one more time after that, it just sticks with you. Understand that confidence comes with repetition. This is so important. Don't just take tickets that you're comfortable with. Take the tickets that are difficult or just a random ticket, like at the bottom of the board. Every ticket that you don't want to take is an opportunity for you to learn something new. It bridges that gap between order and chaos and makes you grow as a person. I was very intentional about taking crazy tickets at T1. And then understand that if you mess up, it's never that serious. Like as long as you own up to it, communicate well and are honest about what you did and what you're going to do, 
people are gonna respect you. My advice for any new techs going into IT is be patient with yourself. 90 days, you're just building a foundation. Nobody's expecting you to be an expert or a master at anything. Again, focus on building those habits like note taking the troubleshooting process. Don't compare yourself only to others. Understand that your day 30 might actually be somebody else's day 1000. You're always at a different pace. Compare yourself to who you were yesterday and always try and be stretching yourself thin so that you can learn new things. And on that note, understand that that uncomfortable area where you feel dumb is the area that you're actually growing. So if you sp feel smart all the time, you're probably in the wrong room. You're probably not taking the right tickets. You need to grow and learn. All in all at this company, amazing first 90 days. I felt like I really dealt with adversity well. Um, I got myself into some suboptimal positions, but I really bounced back. Ultimately, I would end up getting my CCNA about a month after the first 90 days, and I did get promoted after four months, which is exceptionally fast, came with some luck, but also came with all of the hard work that I was putting in at the time. So I'm living proof that it can be done as well. I've now been a system administrator for the last almost year. I'm about 28 days short of a year and it's been amazing and I still love my job. I hope this has been useful to you guys. I know that before I got in, I would have really wanted to know kind of what things I was gonna be learning and what the job was gonna look like. I read all of these horror stories on Reddit about how terrible it was and how scary everything was and how high paced everything was. Understand that if you're conscientious, if you do your job and if you're honest, you will be successful in this industry. You will have opportunities to move up and you will have opportunities to someday be a role model for somebody else. And it happens faster than you think. Appreciate you guys. Be safe, be smart, and good luck in the first 90 days of your new job. See you in the next one.